Hello and welcome to Umbrago Learning Base. Jonathan here. In this video, we are going to have a look at how you can fix collision errors on your Umbrago Cloud project. Before we jump in, let's just take a quick look at what we're going to go through in this video. First off, we're going to look into what a collision error is. Then we're going to have a look at how you can create a, a collision error on your project. And then, of course, I'm going to show you how you can fix it if you ever run into collision errors. Great. So I hope you're ready. Let's get started. So what is a collision error? A collision error means that two UDA files are created for the same entity. UDA files contain schema data for each of your entities, such as document types, templates, macros, dictionary items, or data types. This is how a collision error looks like on a Braggle Cloud. We can see that two UDA files are in the revision folder, which contains exactly the same alias. In our case, it's for a document type called home. At the moment when we deploy it, it tries to create the site structure for these files, and it will inspect each file from the revision folder. It will then try to create the data entity with the alias specified. However, in our case, there are two UDA files that are sharing exactly the same alias, which is home. This, of course, leads to a conflict because it's impossible for deployer to know which one is the correct file. And instead, it will send us an error in return. One of the main reasons we get collision errors is when a document type, media type, data type, and etc. is manually created on two environments using exactly the same alias. On Umbraco Cloud, each of the environments is isolated and does not know about the schema of another environment until they're synchronized. Therefore, creating the same document type in each of the environments would create a duplicate one. It will then consider it a separate entity, even though the document type looks exactly the same and share the same alias in the back office of both environments. So now that we know what a collision error is, let's now try and create one on Umbraco Cloud so we can fix it. Okay, so here you can see my uh, Umbraco Cloud project. It has both a development environment and a live environment. Currently, everything looks fine. There's no errors or anything on the project. Let's now go to the back office of our development environment and create the first document type. We go to settings and we create a document type. I call it home. And as you can see over here, it's generated the alias for us. Let's click save. And the document type is, document type is saved. Let's go back to the project and go to our live environment. We do the same, go to settings, click the three dots over here and create a document type. We call it home and then we save it. So now we have the two document types. Let's go back to my Umbrago Cloud project and let's just refresh. And as we can see, there's some new changes here. We go ahead and we deploy the changes to our live environment. Right, deploying document type home. And let's deploy it to live. As you can see down here, it's preparing the deployment. And if you want to have more details of what is happening, you can click view details here and you can see an activity log. Let's uh, go ahead and wait for the deployment to complete and let's see, let's see what's happening. As we can see, the deployment just failed. We can see it says the last Umbraco data extraction failed on this environment. We can click here to get more information and see where the errors is happening. So here we have the error message that we're getting. And we can see that there are some artifacts that collides on unique identifiers. And down here, we get the two uh, UDA files that is colliding. Now we need to figure out which of the files it is that we want to keep. So in our case, let's say that we want to keep the document type from our live environment. What we now need to do is that we need to connect to our database on a Braco Cloud. We can do this by going to settings, 
and going to connection details. First, make sure to add your IP address. As you can see, mine has already been added. And down there, down here, you can get the connection details for connecting to your um, Braco Cloud project. We want to connect to the database of the live environment. Here you can see the server name, the login, the password, and the database that we are connecting to. So go ahead and open up uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, and let's go ahead and connect. So we copy the server name, add it here. We take the login, add it to the login field, the password. And then lastly, we need the database and we click options down here and add it to connect to the database. And then we click connect. Now, we are, as you can see, we are connected to my database on a Braco Cloud, as you can see here. To figure out which UDA file is used on the live environment, let's go to our database and let's uh, make a new query. I will link the documentation where you can find the SQL queries to find the right UDA file down below. We can run the following query, go over here and add the alias of the document type. So we write home. Once you've done so, let's go ahead and execute the query. And as you can see, we get the UDA file of the document type that is being used on the live environment down here. So now we know which one which uh, document type it is that we want to keep on our live environment. Let's go ahead and copy the UDA file and add it to a notepad. Add it to a notepad. Let's call it live in environment. And let's go ahead and copy the UDA file for the development environment as well then, as we can see here in the error message. So we add it and call it the environment. Great. So now, now we know which uh, file is used on which environment, and now we can go ahead and actually fix our collision error. So now we can go ahead and fix our collision error. First off, we strongly recommend that fixing the collision error is done locally, since this will ensure that the changes uh, you make are added to your Git repository. Otherwise, you might, might end up having the same problems next time that you deploy to your environments. So let's uh, go back to my cloud project and let's clone down the development environment. Clone down. And let's go to my tool here and I'll clone it down. And let's clone it. Okay, so now I've cloned down my project. Let's go to my folder where I saved it. And as you can see, it's here. So let's uh, go into the folder. And I'm going to take the path up here. And uh, let's run the project. First, we go into the folder and then we run it. Once it's built, let's uh, take the local host here and let's uh, go to it. As we can see, the site is uh, starting up now. It's uh, just initializing. And boom, we can see that we're getting the same error here as we're getting on our cloud project. If we go back, we should be able to see that the deploy log failed and we can see the same error in our command prompt. So what we need to do is that we now need to, to uh, delete the duplicate UDA file. Since we now know which UDA file we want to keep, we can now go to our project and go to the Umbrago folder, go to deploy, and we can see the deploy log failed. Uh, and then we go to the revision folder where we can see the two UDA files that we have. Let's go back to what we noted down. And as we can see, it's the same as, uh, as we have on our live and our dev environment. So now we know that we want to keep the live environment Therefore, we need to delete the development environment, UDA file. So first, let's just, uh, for good measure, close down our project. And then let's delete the document type from our dev environment. 
let's run our project again and go back to our site here and go to the back office. Let's uh, log in. And let's go to settings. And what we need to do, currently we can't see any uh, documentized because the extraction failed. We need to go to the deploy tab over here. And we need to, as we can see, the last deployment operation failed uh, because we had the duplicate file. Since we've deleted now, let's go ahead and uh, and trigger the operation, uh, the schema operation called schema deployment from data files. So we trigger the operation. We can see that it's pending now. And it's in progress. And as we see, the last deployment operation was completed. If we go back to our folder and go back, we can also see there's a deploy complete marker as well now. Great. So now we have deleted uh, the duplicate file. We can uh, try and uh, refresh here. And as we can see, now our document type is here. And now we can actually push these changes back up to our Umbraco Cloud project. So let's go back to our project, uh, to our, to my fork here. And as you can see, there's a couple of changes. So let's go ahead and um, push them up. So let's deploy. Fixing collision error. Go ahead and commit. Once the files are committed, we need to go back to the development environment. We need to go in and delete the home document type here as deletions on Obraco Cloud are not deployed between environments. So let's go in and delete it. Push the files up. Once the deployment is complete, let's go back to our project and let's uh, sign back in. And we can see it's still failing, but let's uh, now go ahead and deploy the changes from uh, development to live. And once the deployment is complete, the collision error should be fixed. Great, and now as we can see, the deployment is completed and it went through without a hiccup and there's no error anymore. Great, our environments are now in sync and we fixed the collision error. In this video, I've shown you how you can fix any collision errors that you might encounter. I will also add the documentation in the description down below as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Ben Jonathan and I will see you in the next one. Jonathan, out.